How to create water simulations in Blender. Let's get straight to the point. Step 1. Create a big box that will encompass the entire area of the simulation. You can think of this as the outermost container of the water. Apply a fluid modifier to this big box. Set type to domain. Set preview to 1 because for reasons beyond my comprehension, Blender will calculate two separate simulations, one for final and one for preview. And water simulation being as intensive as it is if you set the resolution high enough, you would not want Blender to waste even a single megahertz on calculating some bullshit preview that you will not be using in the final product in the first place. Set viewport display to final. Step 2. Create a smaller box inside your big box. This will be your water. Apply a fluid modifier to this smaller box. Set type to fluid. Step 3. Select the big box and click Bake. You may hide the smaller cube. Done! You can end the video now. If you choose to stay a little while longer, here's how to make it better. 1. Increase the resolution here. The higher the resolution, the more your water will behave like water and less like giant slimy sticky gumballs. 2. You will definitely get some kind of error if you scale your objects. Be sure to click on this to reset the scale before starting the simulation. 3. Don't touch this. Unless your models are not modeled to scale. If they are modeled to scale, leave this alone. The default works really well except for that wasteful preview calculation bullshit. Wish there is a way to turn that off completely though setting it to 1 seems to stop it. Seems to. 4. Set the cache folder to somewhere you can identify and delete later on to save your disk space. 5. Apply the fluid modifier to other objects you want to interact with the simulation. Here are their properties. Finally, be sure to set this to 2 to minimize any sharp edges to your water due to low resolution. This will increase calculation time, but too bad, you have to do it, or else your water is going to look like crap. Readjust the resolution if it is too much for your computer. Because of my limited laptop capacity, which I'm currently using for my sci-fi series, which is all done on this single laptop, I can only increase the resolution up to 350 before the laptop completely fails to respond. Hence, the fluidity of the water is visually still not as optimum as what a higher resolution can provide. If you have a more powerful computer, go crazy and have fun with your uber water simulations. If you find straight to the point Blender tutorials like this completely refreshing and would like to see more, please consider contributing to my Patreon so that I can pay my bills while doing this for you. <laughs> this is Bracel Jack, signing off.